Okay, so today we're going to talk about Gucci Ancora and the debut of Sabato de Sarno. Welcome back to my channel. The video of today it's about the Gucci show and we will talk about uh, the show from a creative direction point of view. I have to say I have loved the show, which we will see a few images very shortly. And I will not uh, tell you if I've liked the show or not, but I will point out things uh, from my perspective, from a creative direction perspective. As we have seen, Gucci has done an amazing job, as usual, in terms of campaign, because, I mean, look at this, they have painted the tram in Florence with the uh, writing Gucci Ancora. Amazing. And they've used this, uh, probably is a new Pantone that the Sarno has created for Gucci. And they've done loads of things in this color, like the tram, even on a facade of a work in progress building, or even on the wall of the Osteria Gucci. They have not only used this, uh, this beautiful uh, burgundy, not only for the facade of buildings, but they even done ice cream in that color called Gucci Ancora. Incredible. So the use of a Pantone, it's a beautiful direction. However, we have seen Valentino Pierpaolo Piccioli using this kind of direction, using a new Pantone, this beautiful fuchsia, and they've done basically everything covered in this fuchsia. Like, for instance, the runway, the wall, the models, the clothes, the shoes, everything. And somehow it seems to be a little bit too similar, also because De Sarno was working at Valentino before joined Gucci as a creative director. Okay, so in today's video, I'm not gonna criticize or discuss the looks of the entire show because what I'm trying to do with this video is as a channel that is related to building a fashion brand, I'm going to give you my perspective from a creative direction point of view. So frankly speaking, if you have chosen such a beautiful color for your palette, for your collection, I would have personally opened the show with something along this vibes, something like different than this look. It is beautiful, but you know, yes, you've got the kind of uh, burgundy color on the shoes and on the bag. However, it could have been slightly more stronger. So I'm gonna point out a few looks I really enjoyed because there is so much work so much artigianato italiano, so much craftsmanships. Incredible. So, for instance, we have seen beautiful bags completely covered by this kind of mesh that is not a mesh, it's like an, an assemble of components in metal applied probably each and every single one by hand on a probably perforated by a laser leather. So guys, this is a real masterpiece. It's a work of art. It's incredible. And this is new. We haven't seen much similar to this. This one as well. It's a beautiful uh, bag. Um, I'm not looking at the assemble of the uh, look. I'm just concentrating 
on the, um, the artisan point of view or the technical point of view um, in the making of these beautiful accessories. This one as well, it's another beautiful look. Yes, you might say the bra seems to be very small, but I'm sure they will make the bra suitable for the majority of the uh, clients they have in shops. This is just a runway and, you know, of course it would be adapted to, um, to for a bus that has a slightly more volume. Incredible as well, it's like a mesh and I'm sure that it's got some uh, perforation on the uh, leather panels to be attached and secured. Incredible, beautiful, this is new. This bra as well, it's incredible. It looks like, I can't really tell you if it's leather or probably silk, probably leather. And once again, there is an incredible work in applying these stones one by one by hand by hand okay in the video today as well i will give you my uh, modest opinion as a creative director and i'm saying with this i will tell you but i'm not trying to um, criticize the sano i will tell you what i would have eventually done uh, from my experience if i've had the chance to be designing for a company like gucci what i have noticed it's that the show was beautiful absolutely beautiful and you can find a link below to watch the entire show if you wish. So, the show was beautiful. However, there were few things that could have been done slightly better. So, this look. It's cute. It's pretty. But guys, we are talking about a model. And... Mostly, you know, models have a, um, let's say, a not very generous bust. But in real life, women have sometimes a generous bust. And this kind of jacket looks good on a model, but from a technical point of view, on a woman that would have a, a larger bust, I'm not sure that could look as good as it looks on the model. It seems to be very basic to me. And frankly, I would have increased the design for, um, especially for the leather items, because Gucci, it's known for the leather work. And, and my company is slightly known for the leather work and leather is of course, my trademark, my bags, my leather jacket, jackets, sorry, etc. So I would have done something a bit more elaborated and I will show you in a moment how I would have eventually uh, done this kind of uh, burgund burgundy leather. The structure of this jacket, it's like I mentioned, is to me, to be Gucci, it's over basic it's very masculine and frankly it's not even a pattern of a jacket it's a pattern of a shirt and i would have done something slightly more constructed you can do like a baggy jacket like it is so not very cinched into the waist but you could have done something slightly more elaborated, commercial, but something that is hard to copy. This jacket, it's probably beautiful for many, but this one can be copied like in no time because the pattern is so simple that everyone, 
even a basic pattern cutter can do. So don't skip the video because now we will see what I would have done for Gucci and what I think it was missing. Again, beautiful bag. The bags are mostly beautiful. This look, it's beautiful. Okay, the vest with the Gucci hair. Sorry, guys. And um, like I said, I'm not trying to criticize the this, this Sarno. I'm very fond of the Sarno. And I'm sure it's uh, very good. It's got a very fresh vision, etc. However, when I see things like this, there is a lack of design because even a child can get a vest and apply a logo on the neck like so. So this one, to me, I'm sorry to say, it's a no-no item because it is lacking creativity. And I will show you my version for this vest and we will see how I would have done it. This one, it's a masterpiece. The applying of this fringe, it's impeccable. It looks amazing, I love the color. It's very Gucci. I love the, uh, the colors together, they work really well and it's a look I really loved. And well done, uh, the Sarno for this look. This one as well, um, I like it. I love the the colors and reminds me a bit of um, a, an English flag um, because the colors. However, this one, it's the same pattern of the leather jacket we saw before, but for this, it works a bit better because the strips sewn one next to each other in creating this, um, let's say, texture. Beautiful. I love the fact that it's been styled in a sort of twin set, so almost head to toe. I love the fact that the bag as well, it's part of the range. The colors are incredible. I love the um, material. Beautiful. This one is another one of my favorite. It's absolutely Gucci through and through. I love the return of this very thin belts, which were uh, in the 90s, which were very popular in the, in the 90s. And this is slightly 90s. It's a masterpiece. Again, this is probably uh, made entirely by hand. And guys, it takes forever to do something like that. I love the bag like crazy and I love the fact that they go together so beautifully. Also guys, another thing that is really, really cool in this collection is the fact that not only they have uh, like revamped the collection, but they've done some detail which are so cool. Like in this case, you can see the leather, uh, how to call it, um, label on the back of the denim trousers it's in the same burgundy of the palette the sarno have chosen for gucci this one is another one of my favorite this one a bit less because we know what people have said but i don't want to comment it i would have done something different and i'm just about to show you what i would have done this one Again, a masterpiece, a work of art, uh, artigianato italiano, artigianato, artigianato, artigianato. Learn this word. Guys, of course, it's uh, probably uh, very expensive because this, this is almost couture. It, it's like, it's probably entirely created by hand. Right, so we've seen this beautiful lace applied to fabric or leather. My only concern about this dress could be the fact that the lace is beautiful, but noticing that the 
lace has no any corset underneath any structure i'm not entirely sure it will contain a more generous bust it will probably go all over the place and i would have done this dress slightly more structured underneath in a way that the bust keeps itself in place without having to you know kind of mess around you can see when she walks on the video catwalk you can see the bust is not highly supported from the lace part anyway it looks beautiful i just would have done something slightly more structured underneath without having to change the beauty the aesthetic of the dress okay so to give you an idea of what i would have eventually added to the show is we have seen this beautiful masterpiece on the dress on a few dresses and few bags like you see right now and you know they have done this beautiful uh, moccasins in Italiano moccasini platforms, which uh, are typical Gucci. And they've done also this kind of very casual, uh, slightly sporty um, look to the show. And to me, what it was missing is something like a trainer with a pattern similar or probably slightly more simplified than the bag or even some shoe piece like exactly the same like you see here i would have done it on uh, this let's call it mesh in metal i've done it very simple just to give you an idea because to repeat a pattern like like this for the video would have taken forever so um this is what I think could have been added in terms of value to the show. Some beautiful shoes. Uh, we've seen some nice shoes, but we haven't really seen something incredible. And something like this, I'm sure, would be a, a product that would sell a lot. Either way, with a masterpiece pattern like uh, we see here, this metal or even in a more or slightly simplified metal mesh or even a like metallic mesh applied onto the shoe. And let me show you how this shoe would have looked on the model. Okay, so this beautiful pattern, the, this metallic sort of mesh that we see in these photos would have been, from my modest point of view, again, as a creative director, would have been absolutely fantastic if the sun would have applied this beautiful element on a vest and a shoe to get this amazing look. I mean, guys, I'm uh, excited myself in showing you this beautiful part uh, model that i have created myself uh, from uh, photoshop by hand okay so that's how i would have used the kind of jewelry mesh we have seen a few seconds ago i would have applied this mesh even slightly simplified or even in a sort of embroidery version on a vest instead of putting this logo on a white vest that frankly even a child can do i would have done instead something like this and if you see i've also applied the uh, kind of burgundy red they're using uh, and you can see the shoes here are looking which is basically this one are looking absolutely young very fresh, very new, and not been done, or at least not overly done. So this is one of the looks I would have done for Gucci if I was, I don't know, working for Gucci as a creative director or working with Desano. 
something young, fresh, fun, and desirable. And another thing I would have done, I would have frankly not opened the show with the look we saw at the beginning of this video, but instead I would have designed, this is one of my design, by the way, is nothing to do with Gucci, but is my interpretation uh, using one of my current design with the burgundy color uh, to give a strong look as an opening show piece. So I would have done something like this, which is much more Gucci than what we have seen uh, opening the show of uh, the sign for Gucci. And as well, I would have added something very Gucci, like I would have created some sando or sort of something in between a sandal and a boot, very elaborated, very Gucci, very new, very much modern, like I like to design things very current, very modern, like almost futuristic. And I'm very into architecture, as you see from the shoes. However, if you see the the symbol of this look, it's very pleasing because you can see this kind of blouse, gilet, forward slash jacket, which could have been done in a silk as well as a sweater material, like it's called, in Italian it's called uh, felpa. Other material, even in leather, would have been absolutely incredible and as you see in this look we would have had like so looks that scream more gucci than some of the looks we have seen on the runway okay so this is the look i would have done instead of that leather jacket we saw before in burgundy which was very simple like straight cut cut like a shirt, very plain, no host for the bust, nothing. A bit like, sorry from what I'm gonna say, the sauna was a bit like a sack of potatoes. This one instead is modern, current, shoulder pads, which is my DNA, my signature. It is Gucci, 90s, Tom Ford as well. And I guess together this look, it's super simple with this kind of hybrid between a boot and a sandal, which is my uh, one of my next product. It's very simple, but it's so effective. It, it would have been on the runway, like people would have gone like, oh my. They would have run to the shop afterwards to say, oh, when can I buy this? When can I buy this? I love it. So this is how, to me, you take a show on a better level. Okay, so the last thing I think Gucci show is missing, and I would have personally done it if I would have had the opportunity, is the evening dresses, which were completely missed in the show. In this case, to simplify and speed up things, I've been asking Mid journey to give me some, uh, just to give me some reference, just to show you partially what it could have been done. Okay, don't take this look seriously. It's just to give you an idea of the burgundy in a sort of drapey version. So I would have done something slightly similar, but more modern than this. And of course, with the white, I would have white and beige and this kind of off-whites. I would have explored more avenues. I love the simplicity of these sleeves. I would have played with the sleeves a bit more instead of doing sleeves that every designer have done or can do or any fast fashion can do when it comes to, you know, the sweaters we have seen in the Gucci show. Um, I would have done something more elevated and you know I would have played slightly more with the um, garments especially when it comes to um, 
jackets. I love this look. It's very modern. It's slightly 80s, slightly a bit, but this kind of current, I would have played around this sort of direction. And again, the draping, which was very typical of Gucci, it was completely missing. And okay, this these looks are not particularly Gucci. I know this one could be kind of. It's Mid Journey, so uh, the looks I showed you before they were generated by me, not by Mid Journey. And this one, of course, it's different. But this is just to give you an idea of what it was missing in the show this one for instance as it is it's beautiful it's perfect and you know it could have been a wow look on the runway so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i hope i've been able to um, express my point of view from a creative direction point of view like i always say thank you very much for watching Please subscribe, it's really important for me uh, to have your subscription, help me to grow this channel so I can help through my videos, other designers, creative people, other brands, sharing my thoughts, sharing my experience, sharing my uh, examples of how I would do things and I'll see you in my next episode. So. Thank you for watching, subscribe and ciao for now.